Welcome back to another reading vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Mel and this is going to be a pretty chill reading vlog. Mostly just kind of a weekly reading vlog style. Who am I? You're just, we're just going to hang out. We're going to have a good week. But I do have a couple of books that are on my TBR for the week that I wanted to chat with you guys about. The first one is A Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. These are both Patreon book club books. This one is just a buddy read with us all. She is going to be at a polycon, so I definitely wanted to give this book a try. It is a young adult series that I have heard so much about over the years. It's a pretty like old school young adult series about a girl that commits murder and instead of being hanged, they offer her the chance to become the king's taste tester. So she has to undergo rigorous training to be able to evaluate all of the poisons and becomes the taste tester for the king. So I'm curious to see how this turns into a romance because I do think there's a pretty romantic subplot to this. And the other one that we have on the docket is A Chunky Chunky Boy and that is Iron Gold by Pierce Brown. This is the first book in the second arc of the Red Rising series and I am terrified of this book. I've heard that it is pain, it is brutal, but I've also heard that it's absolutely incredible. This I have never read before. Red Rising up to this point was a reread for me, but the patrons and I are going to be reading this in January, hopefully having a live show and I'll check chatting about it. I think that we're going to try to do like a backstage in person live show, which is going to be a lot of fun so that we can all chat about it live together. So I've got to get this finished, but I'm scared of it. The Red Rising series is about Darrow, who is a red and the reds are terraforming Mars and then you have like golds and blues and everybody has a different thing that they're responsible for depending on what their color is. Little do the Reds know that Mars has already been terraformed and they are basically being used as slaves and something happens to him that gets him in a good position to help lead a revolution against the golds. So this is a science fiction series. I feel like first and foremost but definitely has some heavy fantasy elements in it as well. It is extremely political. It's very military and I've had a great Great time with the series so far so I'm curious to see how the second arc goes but I know that it will be pain so I'm a little bit scared of it but those are the only two books that I really have on the docket for this week it's gonna be a pretty chill week I think today is Sunday and so David and I are going to go do our usual Sunday lunch I don't know what we're gonna eat yet but I am pretty excited because I am starving but it is almost that time where I need to get going and go meet him so I'm gonna take the two dogs outside and then I am going to get going but first let me show you these just adorable dogs before I disturb them because like the cute the cute is real okay so like look at this look at this does it get any cuter than that it doesn't this is Willie and then we have the crazy one over here bandit and he is like dead asleep which never happens this dog is on go all the time for the phone clip i just wanted to document it that david asked me if i wanted to go to the bookstore and i told him no i did not need anything i was good and he said well why don't we go anyway because i want a peppermint hot chocolate and i was like okay well if if you do then we'll go in and then he turned me loose and went and got his peppermint hot chocolate and i um came out with two books so you send me in and I'm going to find something. You don't send me in and you're good. But I did pick up two things. Both of these were already on my radar, but I didn't need them right now. However, I had a $25 like rewards from when they did the hardcover sale and you got like $20 in rewards, which means Girl Math actually only spent $10 on these, which is perfect. So the first one is Tonight I Burn by Katherine J. Adams. This is a fantasy romance involving witches that I've had my eye on for a little while. And then I also picked up The Phoenix King by Aparana Verma. I think I'm probably butchering that. They had so many copies of this book. I think it just came out, but I have had my eye on it for a little while. This is an Indian inspired fantasy, which I'm super excited to read. So I did pick up both of these. We have kind of a theme going on, like a red and black orbit theme. I like it. I'm a fan. But anyway, he has gone into Walmart to pick up some stain stick because when we were at lunch, he bit into his burger and it went like all over him. So we need a stain stick and then we're going to head home and I am hopefully going to finally get to sit on the couch and get some reading done because I have not done anything all day long. If I had a boat, I would sail out. Take every brother and sister of mine. We'd roll in the sunshine and sleep when it's dark. Hoping to find somewhere we can calm But it's black, yeah it's black Oh the water's black Cause 
Good morning, friend, and happy Monday. Unfortunately, that means that I am currently at work, but on the way to work, I was able to get a decent bit of poison study read. I'm currently about 20-25% of the way through this, and while I'm mostly enjoying it, I'm not captivated yet. I was expecting for this to be like an instant love because everyone has always raved about it. It was like a childhood favorite, but right now I'm feeling a little just kind of meh. Mostly because like we've gotten to meet Yelena, we've gotten through like the crust of the synopsis, but there are a few logic issues that I'm having and we were having a lot of info dumping, but it's not the kind of info dumping that I like. It's a lot of like, well, this is what their uniforms look like. And I know the uniforms are important, but I want to know more about the world. I want to know about her past. I want to know about the magic. And instead, I just feel like I'm getting a lot of descriptions of what things look like. And then it's a lot of tell and not show. So while she's giving me descriptions of what the uniforms look like, she's not really showing me anything. It's just very much so this is what's happening. This is what we're doing about it. And there's not a lot of like emotion, I feel like, behind it right now. I don't know if that makes any sense. I feel like I'm just rambling a little bit. But so far, it's generally okay. I still have a long way to go. I know Monica said that there are a lot of answers coming to the questions that we have. So I'm still optimistic that I'm going to end up really enjoying this but for now I do have to go to work on the agenda today is work obviously I need to take a couple of pictures of bookmarks for patreon every year we get a new patreon bookmark and then I'm also at some point going to be putting up the overstock for sale so I need to get that done I need to hopefully finish poison study we'll see I don't have that much left of it it's actually pretty short and I need to wash my hair which is a big sad I'm trying to be better about making dinner this year that is something that I I eat out a lot and so I'm trying to get much better about cooking at home I have a hello fresh meal that is delivering today so I will probably cook that and then what else do I need to do I feel like that's the important stuff, so we're going to stop there and not overload myself on task, but for now, I'm going to go in and, you know, do what they pay me for. I am now home from work, and while I was at work, I was able to finish Poison Study. This book is such a childhood favorite for so many people, and they have so much nostalgia surrounding this series. I actually bought the bookish box, bookish box, wow, that was hard to say, editions of this series, so really wanted to love it too. I think for me, it's going to end up being around a three star. It was just pretty mediocre in my opinion. Not that there was anything inherently wrong with it, but I never felt like I got much depth into the story. I think it's just a very classic, like young adult, have a good time kind of book. And there's nothing wrong with that. I definitely see the appeal of this story. But typically, even in my young adults, I like there to be a lot more depth, a lot more world building, a lot more character development. I found that like I got that in Fireborn. I felt like that was so deep and so intricate and so nuanced. And in this, I'm assuming we're going to get more answers, but I just felt like everything was kind of glossed over. The world that we got was really cool. I think that there is a really interesting empire and dynamic and previous war and history and magicians and all of this stuff that could be really, really cool, but we just gloss over it for the sake of a fun time popcorn plot. And while there's nothing wrong with that, I just, that's not what I wanted out of this story. I think it, that Elena is fine. I just don't feel like I got a lot from her. I think that Valak is really interesting. We don't really know who the romance is going to be with in this book necessarily, but I just never felt her connection with anyone. I do think I will try book too, just to see if this was kind of the first book fun setup and we are going to go more into in depth in the th second and third book, especially because like I said, I did buy the special editions of these. If I end up not loving them, I will rehome them to somebody that will, but I'm hopeful that the second book will definitely give me more groundwork and intrigue and really delve deeper into all of the things that were introduced in this because like I said, there's some really, really cool stuff introduced in this. But for now, I'm going to go charge all of my devices because while the rest of the world is getting winter storm warnings, we have a high wind advisory, rain of like three to four inches, and tornado warnings. So welcome to the South. <laughs> but yeah, I need to go charge my cell phone and my computer and my Kindle. The Kindle is a very important part. Because of the winds, we may or may not have power in the morning. So that's something very important that I need to go do. I do think that I will probably start the audiobook for Iron Gold tomorrow on my way to work. So this is up 
next. And this book is terrifying. So wish me luck. I don't think I will get a ton of this done tomorrow just because I do want to read as much of this with the audio in my eyeballs as I can. I don't know that I will be super successful with that, but I find that while I like the narrator for these stories, I do feel like I don't get quite as much emotion when I'm not at least partially reading it with my eyeballs. So we'll see how much I get done tomorrow. I will check in with you guys, but wish me power and not high winds and hope that I don't need a boat to get to work tomorrow. <laughs> It is now Wednesday and I am getting used to this whole weekly vlogging thing. I know I forgot to update you guys yesterday and I thought about that on my way to work this morning. I was like, oh man, I never gave you guys any updates on my to-do list. We didn't talk about if I read any of Iron Gold, if I kept my power. You will be pleased to know that we didn't really get as much in the way of bad storms as I thought we were going to. We did get a lot of wind, but I did keep my power. So that was a win. I did cook a dinner. I cooked the onion crusted chicken from HelloFresh, which was excellent by the way, not sponsored, just enjoyed. And then I obviously did finish Poison Study. I have started Iron Gold. We'll talk about that in a second. I didn't do any of the bookmarks or anything yet because I had other bookmarks for something very special that you guys will probably see the announcement for later this week if I had to guess. So I wanted to wait and just kind of do all of that together when I had some more natural lighting. So I haven't done that yet, but that's one of the only things that I did not manage to do off of the list that I was talking to you guys about. So let's chat Iron Gold. This is obviously going to be a spoiler free section. There will be no spoilers for Iron Gold in this, but this is the fourth book and the start to the secondary arc for the Red Rising series. This is set about 10 to 12 years past when Morningstar left off. We've gone through some big events and we're following Darrow where he is now. And I really won't say a whole lot more than that. Red Rising is a Roman inspired revolution and rebellion tale about the Reds who think that they are terraforming Mars only to find out that the Golds are basically using them as slaves and Mars has been terraformed all along. And then it is this fight for their freedom and for the land of Mars. I'm enjoying this one so far. I don't know why it threw me off so much. Like I was listening to the audiobook and I was cruising along and I was driving to work and then we had a point of view switch and I was like, wait, what? So Red Rising and that whole first trilogy is told completely from Darrow's point of view. And then in this one, we're actually getting three, I believe, other points of view, two, three, two or three other points of view. And I just, it threw me off. Like a female narrator started talking and I was like, wait, what is going on? And it's not the points of view that you would expect. So I'm finding that really interesting so far. I'm enjoying it, but I'm a little on the fence about it because we spent so much time being in Darrow's head. Half the time, I'm just like, give me more Darrow. Like, where is Darrow? But I'm also really intrigued about the other points of view as well. I think they're going to give us a lot of balance to the story and give us multiple different sides of and angles of things that are going on. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't know exactly how far I am into this. I've not been reading as much of it with my eyeballs as I wanted to because I know we talked about me wanting to read along with the audiobook just simply because I feel like I get a little bit more emotional punch when I read it physically. But I am currently a hundred and around 100, 120 pages in. So I made a pretty good dent in this. I will be continuing. I don't know if I'll get a lot read to tomorrow. Just it's a shorter day at work. But once I get home tomorrow, I am going to take some of those pictures. And then I wanted to show you guys my new reading nook. I know we've already seen it. I've already kind of given you the brief rundown and showed you like the initials of it. But I have finished it since my January reset. I've got a little shelf up. I've got some greenery on it. It's decorated. So I just want to show you guys the final product and kind of follow up on that because I'm really proud of it. And I think it looks great. And I can't wait to sit there and just cozy up with a book. It's going to be great. Okay, so I was just in my bedroom filming a very special announcement that you guys will be seeing after this video. So stay tuned for that. But while I was in here, I wanted to quickly show you my finished reading nook. I think that it turned out so well. I am beyond happy with it. And trust me, so is Brynn because she has not gotten out of this stinking chair and won't let me sit in it. <laughs> So of course we have the chair in the mirror, which you guys already saw, but I really love the fact that I was able to kind of add some of my more aesthetic books over here to this bookshelf. Although we are going to ignore the very unesthetic cat feeder that we've got going on over here. You guys have gotten to see the lamp and the pictures as well. And then we have a new addition, which are all of these little shelves that have a little fairy lights on them as, as well as this like greenery. I think that this looks really, really good, especially with the pictures over in the corner. I was afraid it would be unbalanced, but I'm actually really pleased with the way that this turned out. So let me know what you guys think, but I think it looks really good. 
I feel like I've been living a boring life this week because today is Thursday and I don't really have a whole, whole lot to update you guys on. I am reading Iron Gold. We will talk about this in a minute. And then excitingly, today was a free delivery day from Crumble. So I got me some cookies delivered for when I got home, which was a very nice thing to get home to. I bought some also for mom. So we are going to share a box, but I am so excited to dig in. I got the Snickerdoodle sandwich and the strawberry just because I love Snickerdoodle and I love strawberry. They also had a banana bread which looked good and what else did they have a waffle something I almost got the waffle one but I just I love I could only really get two and I love the strawberry and I love the snickerdoodle so I got those and then I also got a skin for my Kindle I have been wanting to try one of these for a little while just because I don't know black not boring but looking for something a little different and let's see if I can get this open I am not doing this correctly okay and I got a brown one Let's see if I can get this on without making a mess of things. And I highly doubt I'll be able to talk and do this at the same time, but we're gonna try and I'm gonna tell you about Iron Gold. So let me tell you guys a little bit about Iron Gold. So far, I almost wonder if I might like it a little bit better than the original Red Rising series. I can't really pinpoint why. There are different points of view, which definitely I am liking quite a lot. I think that it's just adding a layer of depth to the story that we we didn't necessarily not have before, but that we didn't have as much of. I am enjoying it quite a lot, I guess is where I was going with that. I can't really tell you too, too much because I definitely don't want to spoil anything, but we've got three new points of view. Lysander, who is with Cassian, if you guys remember who Cassius is. And then we also have a new red perspective. And then we have a gray's perspective as well. I feel like I'm just rambling at this point because I don't really have anything specific to say about it other than I'm having a good time. I feel like there are some moments that are really like in-depth and gut-wrenching and punchy. And then other times I am a little bit bored. So the pacing for me is not my absolute favorite, but I feel like this was also a problem for me in the original Red Rising series where I really liked it, but I did find that I was having some pacing issues. And so there are moments where I'm like having a great time and it's gut wrenching and it's punchy and we're having a solid fun time. And then there's lots of action. And then there's other points where we're doing a lot of talking and the talking is not a bad thing. I'm enjoying the talking, but at the same time, there are moments where I'm just like, okay, can we do something already? So yeah, overall, I'm having a good time. I just feel like I need the pacing to just be a little more consistent, but I'm, I'm really loving it so far. But anyway, this is the new skin. What do you guys think? We'll see. I, I don't know if I, it thankfully was not very expensive. So if I don't like it, I will just take it off. But I wanted to try it. I don't know if I end up taking this off, but I want a different kind. Do you guys have one that you recommend that I try? Because like I said, this one just, it's, it's got a ridge and I don't like being able to feel the ridge. I want everything to be nice and flush because I feel like I'm gonna rip my hand across it and it's just gonna peel up because it's not flushed down. I don't know if that makes any sense. But anyway, Red Rising is going well, skin is on. I'm gonna spend the evening reading and eating some cookies. friends so it is Friday and I have had a really long day I'm just now settling in to read some more of Iron Gold which I've gotten to about 60% of the way through I don't have really any more thoughts than when I updated you guys before I got off work early today and honestly it's just been a week it's been it's a week of like just feelings and thoughts that I don't want to be there as well as we got some not so great news um, today that we were really hoping would be different. I don't want to really share much about it right now because it's not really my news to share, but I'm hoping that it's going to turn out just fine. It was not the worst news that we could have gotten, but it wasn't great either. So I've just been kind of processing that today, but, but I'm doing okay. We're just going to read. We're going to muddle through it. I might watch some more Vampire Diaries tonight. Honestly, I am on season six now I think the very beginning of season six so I've just been kind of blowing through those it's a great just everybody is hot and it's a fun time kind of show when you just want to sit back relax and not really have much to do so I will probably watch a little bit of that in bed I do want to get a couple more chapters of Iron Gold in I'm 60% of the way through and I really really wanted to be at least 75% because I theoretically need to finish this tomorrow but we will see if that manages to happen because I have a nail appointment in the morning I have some claws it'll be good just 
to have a pamper day. I think I'm gonna go with a light pink. I'm gonna go with a pink of some kind. What color pink? I'm not really sure yet, but a pink of some kind. So it's just gonna be nice to have a relaxing Saturday, kind of forget the ways of today and move on to a new day tomorrow. So I'm going to read. I don't know that I'll check in with you guys anymore tonight, but I will talk to you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Sunday and that means it is time to wrap up this reading vlog. It's been kind of fun just reading whatever I wanted to this week and just chilling, hanging out with you. I, I don't know, been a good time. Yesterday was a good day. I didn't check in with you guys because I was just kind of hanging out with mom, spending the day with her. We did get our nails done and mine are like way more sparkly than I meant for them to be. Um, it's like a pink chrome, but I quite like them. I think that they fit the vibe. It was nice to get the claws off. I do a lot of typing at work and so when they're really, really long, it makes it a little hard to type, but I do like the clip clack noise. Anyway, I need to talk to you guys about my final thoughts on Iron Gold. This obviously is the, I think I've already told you this is the fourth book in the Red Rising series. It is set like in a different arc about 10 years in the future. And I really enjoyed this one. I think that I in some ways preferred this to the first arc. I did like the new points of view. I did like seeing different angles of the politics and things that were going on. Lysander's point of view, I think by far was my least favorite additional POV. And I think that Ephraim's was probably my favorite. Lyra just kind of felt somewhere in the middle. I am a little annoyed at the audiobook though, because apparently I was looking and the audiobook for this is a full cast. And the next audiobook is a full cast, but they changed two of the narrators. And then the third Lightbringer book is just the voice of Daryl again for every single POV and I'm like why? Apparently people complained about the narrators and so they changed them and then people complained again so they just got rid of them but like that's gonna annoy the heck out of me but anyway rant over it's I think it's dumb but my thoughts on this circling back I digress my thoughts on this are overall very positive I'm gonna give it a higher four star I think that the reason it didn't quite reach five stars is just the pacing for me was a little bit off in places where we would be like action and then we would low, 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 and then we would action and then we would low, low, low. And I kind of wish that that was a little bit transitioned just a little bit better. And I think a lot of that had to do with the points of view. And even though I really, really liked those points of views, we would transition from like high action Darrow to a little bit lower action Lyra and it just kind of, I don't know, it felt a little bit off at times, but overall I really, really enjoyed this. It is brutal. It is harsh. This world has just gotten meaner and I, I liked it a lot. I don't know what that says about me, but I liked it a lot. So those are my final thoughts on Iron Gold. We will be moving on to Dark Age in February and March, so I probably won't get to Dark Age until March, just because February, I am leaning into the fan row. I do have a lot of SPFBO stuff that I need to read in February, but aside from that, we are leaning hard into the fan row in February. I think that's it. I think that's everything for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Like I said, it has been a lot of fun. I'm hoping to do some of these in the future, just shorter weekly vlogs. My theme vlogs are not going to be going away. You guys will definitely still be seeing a lot of those, but I am gonna try to sprinkle in some more of these low-key vlogs as well well because I just enjoy doing them. I think it was a lot of fun. If you just want to let me know that you were here and hang out, leave me a poison emoji for poison study. And once again, everything that you need is linked down below my Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Bye!